Hello there, this is Delta Log, and I'm here to do an, a tutorial on somewhat advanced dialogue control. Well, this is without scripting. So uh, I was asked a question, and the question was uh, someone wanted to give multiple quests that must be done in order, one by one. Uh, and this would be given by an N NCP, and then you would be able to go back and repeat the various quests that you've already done. So, what I did was, let me go out and I'll show you. I got a uh, in, uh, custom NPC out here. And I've created four quests. We'll show those first. Um, let's see. So they're just basic quests. They'll give some experience. Um, the item is, oops, the item is supposed to be, I just erased that one. So I'll show you how I put. The item in there, those purple wool. So, let's see where we. Quest new one. Got some lag here. I don't know what's. Okay, purple wool put that in there and that one is magenta wool and they're all this is lime wool and this is red wool so they're all pretty much the same uh, the item you're looking for now then um, let's go to the dialogue <clears throat> the dialogues go there they are <laughs> um, this, this will be the first dialogue, test 2A. This will be the second one, third one, and the fourth one. Now I'll show you how I did that, because this one is available, or this one I should say, is available after this one. So, and this one is available after this one, and this one is available after this one. So, if all these are available after after one another this one is first so when this one is read then it comes down here and it will read this one next and then it will come down here and read this one next and then finally the first one so we'll go to the dialogues and show you how that's set up here things seem to be moving a little slow here okay so Test 2A is the first one. Now, its availability is is nothing. There's there's no availability. It's going to always be available. So 2B is going to be available after Test 2A and also after New 1, which is the quest for 2A. Um, so we'll go back. So and then 2C is the same way. It's available after 2B to and quest. Come on, there new two. Okay, so. This, this is associated with new 1, new 2, new 3, and new 4 quest. So, let's go back to the first dialogue that shows up. Test 2A. Um, it says, would you like quest 1? And then you can reply, yes or no. No goes to close. Yes goes to test 1A. So, if you reply yes, to this, it'll go to 1A. Um, and that dialog says 1A. And it 
and that has it's, it's lagging here <laughs> there it shows up it didn't show up at first but 1a has the quest new one um, and um, these these have no availability options they're always available because they're going straight uh, it's going from here to here and then it gives the quest in the same way on this one this one goes from here to here to here and it gives quest new two and the same way 2c goes to 1c it's all kind of I did it all kind of backwards I, I created the quest one the quest dialogue first then I have the dialogue that goes to that one um, it's if you can see see what I mean so it's it's kind of there's probably other ways of doing it but this way kind of made sense to me so um, so let's see so test 2a like I said is the first one because this one is available after that one if you look in the dialogues this one is the first actually even though it's the th fourth in the line um, so let's let's go through the dialogue with them okay so okay so this this actually I just already went through and so he gives me everything so let's go what we have to do is to edit the player data um, player data dialogues and so I have to delete all these Two, the ones that begin with two. I don't have to delete the ones that begin with one. Okay, and then also I have to go through and delete the quests because they also the dialogues are available after the quest. Because if it was just available after the dialogue, then you could go through all of them, but you have to wait till the quest is is uh, done also. So. Um, Okay, there we go. Now those are all deleted. Okay, would you like quest one? Yes. Okay, he says one A. And that's the that's the dialogue that gives it. Okay. Um, so I go over here and I get my purple wall. And I give it to him. And he says one A is complete and I get experience if you saw my experience went up so now I click on him again and he says uh, would you like quest 2 yes give me quest 1 again or no let's say yes thanks so if I go to my quest log it says magenta wool 2a magenta wool that's the objective so we go in here get the magenta wall click on him and my experience went up to four now so and now I go back to him uh, he says would you like quest three yes give me quest give me quest one again okay so I can go through quest one again And there we go. We're up to six now. Experience. Um, I can click on them again. I can just say no. And click on them again. It won't. It won't go until I say yes. Thanks. And what are we? We're on quest three. Back to him. And quest four. Yes. Thanks. And this is the last quest back there back to him getting dizzy here and I get more experience so that's it now then this is where he will be now I can uh, take any of this quest one two three or just say yes to four and uh, 
and this will always uh, be the same. Um, I can take quest two. Thanks. And that would be the second wool type here. Um, click on them. 2A is complete. Okay. So, um, what you could do um, if you wanted, you could take these and you could put this one down here. Um, and this one, the second one, and the third one. Come on. And this one, where were we? Here we are. Okay, and then we can get rid of those, and then we could create a, a fifth one if we wanted to. Here, um, we'd have to go to dialogue, test dialogues, uh, add. Add. Okay, we'll add two, and this one will be um, test one E, and this one will be test one, uh, two E. Two E. Okay. So test two E said would you like quest 5 and here you can say yes and then change this to dialogue test 1 test yeah where is select yeah test 1e done test 1e let's say uh, stone um, find stone okay now we have to make a quest for that. Test quests add new five item. Oops. Item. I think I have some stone in my inventory. Yeah. Stone will change the reward to 20 experience. Okay, uh, go back to dialogue now. And we go to 1E. Select quest, new five up, it's got a space there, that's okay. Um, then this is where we change the availability. Now this one, select dialog after after this one right here. And after, nope, we select the quest after, select quest. Uh, nope, I didn't. Uh, 
after four. Sorry about that. It's lagging here or something like that. All right, after four. There we go. Now all we have to do is put that one in on top of these. And that one right there. Oh, I think that will work. Do you like Quest 5? Okay. Yes. Okay, I do have. I do have stone. Now then. That is the only quest available because I did not add the additional quests to the dialogue there, um, which you would have to do. So let's look at um, 1D. Uh, Now, let's look at 2D here, yeah, 2D. Um, see, you would have to add this to give me quest one, um, and that goes to test 1A, give me quest two, and that goes to 1B. Uh, so for this one, you would have to add those into here. So you could do uh, 1A, to 1B, 1C, 1D, and, and then you have to have a quest. If you wanted to have more, like if you wanted to fill this up, you would have to go, you would have to leave a space uh, let's see you would have to say, give me quest 1, give me quest 2, give me quest 3, give me quest 4, uh, next page, and it would have to go to another quest um, to list, give me quest 6, give me quest 7, give me quest 8, 9, 10, or go to another page, and uh, that's how you would do more than um, I guess you could do five here. You could do, yeah, well, you could do six, um, really. So you can do five, and then you have to go to another page, is what you have to do if you don't want to have a no reply. Uh, so uh, I guess that's it. I hope people can understand that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I'll leave them in the uh, in the comment section. Um, so thanks a lot. Bye.